Hey everybody, it's Joe Cordero here, and I wanted to share something that's been on my heart, and I hope that it's a word of encouragement for you. One of my favorite stories is found in 1 Samuel 17. We know this story of David and Goliath on the battlefield. Ever since hearing this story, I've celebrated David and the victory that he had that day. But when I was in high school, I actually didn't relate to David. I actually didn't believe that I had it in me to step into the battlefield and be courageous like that. I didn't feel like I had it in me to be standing up to the giants that were taunting me that day. It felt like the impossible. I didn't feel like I had anything to give to society, that I didn't know what my calling was. The people I actually related to with more was David's brothers. And David's brothers, who were afraid of the Goliath calling them out, that was something that I could relate with. I felt like I didn't have anything in me and that there was an impossible task in front of me going into college. In scripture we read that it wasn't until David showed up on the battlefield and defeated Goliath that the Israelites were finally able to pursue their enemy and claim victory. Similarly to when I was in high school, it wasn't until someone showed up for me on my battlefield and showed me that God was more powerful than impossible for me to activate my potential as a leader and to believe that I had something to give. And I am eternally grateful to my mentor, Jason Calvert, who was my David at that time, who showed me that God was more powerful than the impossible. So I have three questions for you today. One is what are giants taunting people today during this season? Could it be discouragement, self-doubt, or fear? The second is how can you be David for someone today? And the third in your life, who has been David for you? May we continue to experience the revelations of God during this time, and I'll see you in the next one.